going carnivore in Thailand. Here in the pool on a beautiful morning, I want to talk about the changes I've made to sous vide cooking for me. Now, we were getting some lovely ribeyes with lots of fat, and they're two inches thick. But to be honest, I love steaks that you don't have to chew a lot like they're leather. I love steaks that when you chew them, they just break down a little bit. And, and they're easy to chew and they don't give you a headache or sore jaws. So we have started cooking all of our steaks in the sous vide for 24 hours at 58 degrees. 58 will give you a good medium rare color. I've shown you a lot of the color on the inside of the steaks. And it doesn't matter. They're technically at that color and up to temperature within less than two hours. You could take them out, but I guarantee you. I guarantee you that. That if you take one steak, cut it in half, put it in two bags, and you put it in the sous vide, and the one you take out two hours, put in the refrigerator to rest before searing, and the other one you give 24 hours. I was giving 12, then I was giving 16, then I went to 24, and every time I went up higher, the steak got a little more tender. The fat was more tender, easier to eat, and the steak was. So it won't overcook. It'll still be the same temperature, but somehow the slow, long-term heat breaks down the toughness. Now I'll tell you where I learned this from. Back in Cincinnati, we had this place called uh, the Wedge Inn. And on Wednesdays, they had ribs. And he slow cooked in water his ribs before he barbecued them. And he did that for a long time. And when you get his ribs, you would just grab the bone out of these ribs and lift up and the meat would stay in the plate. It was so tender and the bone would come out just clean. That it was literally fall off the bone ribs. And they were delicious. So you used to be able to go to Costco and you used to be able to buy racks of ribs, pre-seasoned, but not baked, that you could buy and people would take them home, put them on the grill and, and have a party and that sort of thing, grill them out and they were ribs. And they were good. And when you, when you got the ribs, you'd have to, you know, rip the ribs apart and then chew the meat off the bone like a lot of ribs are around the, around the world. But then I had a sous vide cooker back there in Cincinnati and I started cooking them for 24 hours. And I was getting the same effect Ron was getting on his ribs. Literally, if you try to pick up a rack of ribs in the middle with, uh, with tongs and you lift it up, the rack would just break in half because the bone would come right out wherever you were grabbing. And they were so good and so tender. So we've started doing 16 hours on this, I'm sorry, 24 hours on the sous vide. And it's easy. You just decide how many steaks you want. You throw them in the sous vide and you know, a day later, take them out, put them in the refrigerator and you're ready to sear them and eat them. So, you know, it, it's, it's not costly because it doesn't take a ton of electricity to keep that tub of water at 58 degrees. And uh, it's not bad. So that's what we're doing now. I wanted to give you an update on it. It's 
part of going carnivore is, is eating the ruminant meat, which means it comes from a cow or a lamb or a goat. And uh, I haven't had any lamb or goat, but the cow's doing fine. And for me, I can't stand a tough steak. It's too hard on my jaws and teeth. And I guess, uh, call me call me weak, I guess, but I don't like a tough steak. I like that real tender steak. I was the guy who always ordered the filet mignon. Now I haven't bought any filet mignons here because I don't know, if you're gonna eat it every day, it gets a little expensive if you wanna try to buy filets. But nevertheless, sous vide, do yourself a favor, give yourself a test, cut a steak in half, do one of them for two hours, do one of them for 24 hours, then sear them both up and eat them side by side. And I guarantee you that the one that was in there for 24 hours is gonna be a much easier to chew piece of meat. I guarantee you that. That's all, folks.